So the other day, my mom described herself as someone who was strong enough to resist the temptation of homosexuality. You're gay. You're gay. That's it. If your sexual identity is based off of that of which you resisted, hello. If you had to Jedi mind trick yourself and mind yourself into being attracted to a certain gender and not being attracted to the other, hello. And not to mention the way this uses her when anything remotely lesbian is discussed or pops up. Like the other day, she was so stuck on the fact that she was selling a house to a lesbian couple. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. On this edition of Cuckoo for Cocoa Pop World, we have to talk about a very fascinating turn of events, okay? A fascinating story that I stumbled across on TikTok uh, involving a lesbian TikToker who is putting her mom on blast, like quite literally roasting her mom on the internet because she's accusing her mom of homophobia because her mom did what moms do and recommended that, hey, maybe just maybe you should wear clothes that are traditionally feminine, right? You should dress like a feminine woman when you are trying to search for a job instead of wearing like a baggy suit, right? That clearly doesn't fit. Uh, maybe again, you, you should wear clothes that, that actually fit that are more traditionally feminine and maybe just maybe that will help you find a job. Apparently this TikToker didn't like what her mom said so much that she decided to post a TikTok of her roasting her mom for homophobia. Take a look. From now on, I'm fighting violence with violence when it comes to homophobia. My mom said I look terrible on my way to work today. I wear men's business casual because it's physically more comfortable and it fits and everything's not mad short and mad tight like how it is for the women's clothes. And also, I'm 5'11", they don't make for us, okay? You gotta order that shit. I don't have order and tailor money. But she said I look terrible and I look ugly and I look like a man. There's 104 days you're in credit card debt and you have no man and summer's over like I could really, I could really, I could get back nasty with you, but I stay, I stay. And you see that neck? This neck is consequences of minding black women's business, okay? And sleeping with black women's husbands. If we want to really talk about what's an abomination, because Mira, don't. Wow. I mean, I. I just don't know what to say. I'm actually speechless. Okay, I'm, I'm actually like I I don't understand how my generation is just so screwed that this is this is what they're doing, right? They're roasting their mother. Her mother is Latino, by the way, right? Her mother is Latina, Hispanic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and, and her daughter is half black. Okay, this girl right here. Okay, and um. Yeah, I mean, her, her mom seems to be a, a caring person, okay? Maybe she's a traditional woman, right? She's not about the woke stuff, but her daughter ended up woke, right? Unfortunately. And, um, you know, the mom gave the daughter just some advice that I think is some good advice. Hey, you know, maybe you should look less like a man and more like a lady and, you know, put on some actual clothes that fit because those clothes that she was wearing, they, they don't fit, right? Those clothes don't fit, okay? You <laughs> wearing a baggy suit, okay? <laughs> You're like a dude, and you're clearly not, okay? And maybe, just maybe, that'll help you find a job. The irony in all this is that the same TikToker took the TikTok to complain about how hard of a time she had finding a job. I'm not making this up. Take a look. When I start selling I don't want to hear it. When I start selling I don't want to hear nobody say When you see me on the corner, your business because these recruiters have one more time to play with me i get in an argument with my mom every other day she comes in my face talking about some oh yeah mira you have a degree you could get a job any i don't understand where where wanda where are the jobs every day i apply to like a hundred places i am so broke i'm rationing my tampons okay but my period right now my cramps was horrible last night i couldn't make an apple because i'm like i don't know if we're gonna make it through the week i'm over it yeah so part of me hopes that this tiktok creator is not actually serious but part of me tells me that this person is serious uh they posted multiple tiktoks complaining about you know being able to find a job 
or, you know, not getting paid enough or whatever, right? And I'm just sitting here like, well, again, if you just listen to yourself on TikTok, uh, there's a reason why you can't find a job, right? Because you're not listening to your mother, okay? Instead, you're actually roasting your mother, disrespecting your mother for the world to see because she gave you good advice, okay? She gave you advice that, hey, maybe you should dress a little bit better. Maybe you should present yourself in a better way in order to actually get a job, right? And this TikToker gets upset and mad and, again, again embarrasses her, her, her mother for the world to see, puts it online instead of actually taking the advice and then has the audacity to post on TikTok about how hard it is to get a job. It, it really blows my mind, right? It really does. And it just goes to show you guys just how lost some people in this generation are. They don't believe in listening to people who know better than them, right? Listening to adults, right? Even their parents. Even their parents can't tell them, uh, you know, what the right thing to do is without, you know, being called homophobic, right? Or some type of bigot, okay? And it's, uh, it's just, it, it's extremely sad. Right. And not to mention, you know, this person posting all these TikToks where they're cursing, they're using foul language. Again, they're roasting, you know, their parents. Right. Like they're embarrassing their parents in front of the world. How do you think employers are going to look at that? Right. Do you think an employer is going to look at that and say, yeah, this type of person we want to work at our job. Right. A job that pays this person what they want to be paid, because, you know, according to them, you know, 30K is not a livable wage. Right. They think that 30K is not enough. <laughs> right. <coughs> And they want to get paid more. So I'm like, okay, if you want to get paid more, uh, you got to understand that employee is going to look at your TikToks and say, well, what is this person going to do if she doesn't get her way on a job, right? Or if she experiences some sort of microaggression on the job, is she going <laughs> to take the TikTok and expose us, right? Is she going to go off on us? Because again, if she will expose her own parents, right, put their face on the internet and everything and roast them. Right. Put their business out there. If they if she will do that to her own parents, what will she do to her employer? Right. Again, these people, man, they just don't think they don't think before they post on the Internet and they end up ruining their lives forever because this stuff stays on the Internet forever. OK. And it really is a shame. It's a shame that this girl is putting this stuff out here and, and, and doing this because she's not really helping herself. She's not helping her situation. Seems like she's struggling. And she's not helping her relationship with her mother, who seems to really love her a lot, right? Love her enough to tell her the truth about her lifestyle and <laughs> some of her habits that, again, are not helping her actually succeed in life. But hey, uh, this young generation, they know it all, right? They know everything and they can't be told anything. In fact, uh, we're told, well, I'm not saying we're, but older people are told, hey, you need to listen to young younger generation, right? They're right about everything. They know more than you do, even though they have less life experience. Truly fascinating stuff. Extremely, extremely, extremely sad. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.